Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm going to show you guys the pastel liner kit that I ordered like months ago, but of course due to the current situation all over the world it takes a long time to get things shipped, so I just finally got them like a week ago. And I'm just going to show you the liners. Um, I bought mine from uh, Killer Queens. I don't even know if it says so on the box, but they came in this cute little box Which I'm probably going to store them in. The liners come in eight different colors as you can see here I have them swatched out. So we have a white and we have a green We have a yellow. We have a orange one. We have a pink, a purple, a minty blue one and a more, more so pastel blue so for the white one, I feel like that was definitely not a proper white. It's really sheer and I do not think this is something I would want to use in a look just because it's so sheer and especially when you like put it on top of shadows, it's going to look really weird. Um, as for the green and all of the others, I think they look really opaque and beautiful. So I really like the, all of the other colors. Um, here we have the yellow one. It's also very beautiful. It's more of like a neon pastel <laughs> yellow, I feel like, because it has a small, like, tinge of green in it. And then we have this more peachy, orangey one. They all have names, but I'm not really that... <laughs> um, I don't feel like the names are that important, honestly. Uh, then we have the pink one right here. We have a purple one. And then we have the minty green blue one, as well as the blue one. And I think they all look really beautiful. I really enjoy the colors. As you can hopefully see from the swatches that I did, um, I just mix them with a little bit of water like you should because they're water um, soluble. And I just think they all look really beautiful. They don't seem to crack. The colors are really beautiful. And I'm really excited just to have some pastel liners in my collection so that I can use them with all different kinds of looks. Today I ended up using two of these colors. I used the purple one and the more minty one. And I'm going to show you how I used them to achieve the look that I have right here. I ended up using them in combination with my new Beauty Bay Pastels palette as well. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did that, and so if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So I'm basically done with my face makeup now, and I'm just going to start with my look. And I'm just going to... <laughs> I just picked out these two liners. It is Grape Teeny, which is the purple one, and Sex on the Beach, which is the more minty blue one. And I want to use this minty shade, and... I want to use the purple shade down here and I was thinking I will just make it like really easy and do a two-toned look where I like do this one for example in the inner corner, this one in the outer corner and then I do a winged liner with these two with like the opposite shades. So I will do like this one in the outer corner and the wing and then this one for the inner corner of the liner, sort of, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I think I will just go ahead and start with... Um, the minty blue shade so that is cloud free right over here and I'm just using my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush and I'm dipping in there. These are quite powdery but I'm just going to apply it right here to the outer corner. And I just realized I don't have the S3 brush. I'm using the S2 brush which is not the brush I intended to use. But so I just switched over to my S3 brush because that is my favorite brush. It's like this flat but still fluffy brush. And the base I'm wearing on my eyes now is the NARS Smudge Proof base and it's the clear one. So that's why you can like see all my <laughs> discoloration here. So I think that's it for the blue and then I'm just cleaning off my brush with my color switch. So now I'm just going to dip into Daydream, which is this purple right here. This was a little bit less powdery and a little bit more sheer when I did my eye swatches. So I'll just see if I can build that up to a nice color right here. I should have used a colored base, it was just I kind of forgot and I had already done my 
face makeup and I really wanted to try one of my better primers with these shades as well. I mean, they blend really seamlessly, but like you can barely see the purple in this purple shade. Just in order to use a few more of the shades, I'm just going to use some of the other ones here on my lower lash line. So I'm going in with Days, which is that more minty green one. And I'll just be applying that here. And if you've been here on my channel before, you know I like to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm basically like placing it down to the eyeshadow fold. No, <laughs> the eye fold that I have here. And I wanted to go into the minty green one that I can have here. So I'm just gonna do that on this other side as well. Now I'm just going to dip into Serenity right here. And I'm just gonna place that here on the inner part of my lower lash line. And it's like, this is truly pastel, but it's like so soft. I'm wondering how this will look on a deep complexion compared to my very pale complexion. So I just filled a small shot glass with some clean water and I'm just dipping my brush in there and I think I will just start out with the wing. So I'm going to go into Grape Teeny right here and I'm just going to mix the water into it. And I'm not trying to work on like a huge area of the liner. I just want the right amount of water to liner if that makes any sense. So now that I'm seeing like it looks a little bit bubbly almost, I feel like it's the right consistency and it will probably be quite opaque and nice I hope. <laughs> so I'm just going to start with the wing. I want the purple to be like around where the mint shade ends. And then I'll have to do a wing. <laughs> so a little tip if you have hooded eyes like me. Um, I usually just make sure I don't have the liner going into the actual hood. I just end it right before and then I extend it. And I usually like drag it quite far down here. Just because that's a preference I have when it comes to liners. I shouldn't be talking when doing this, but let's find this far, so... <laughs> okay, so I think I'm happy with that. I'll do the same on my other eye before I go over to that minty shade. Okay, so I'm done with the purple and now I'm going into Sex on the Beach right here. And I'm just adding some water, trying to mix it again just have to look at it myself to be able to see when the ratio seems to be fine. In my opinion, it's fine when it's not like super watery in there. So I hope you can like see it. This is fine for me, I think. And since I have hooded eyes, I don't really want that much of a liner. So I'm just going to like take a little bit away on my arm just because I had too much on my brush, in my opinion. Now I'm just taking away the excess that I have here just to be able to mix them so I still have a little bit of water and like the mixture on my brush and then I'm able to like blend the two colors together a little bit better I feel like because obviously they are water soluble so if you start mixing them even on top of the dry product you're probably going to be able to do so so I'm quite happy with how that is looking. Here it kind of looks a little bit blended already, but I'm still going in a little bit more. What's hard about this is that when it dries, it looks different than when it's wet. I'll just turn down the lighting so you can see the colors a bit better. I think this is fine. So you can like see where it's dry, it's a little bit darker and it's more pink looking where it's wet. And here is the other eye. I think it's quite dry now. I'm really happy with how it's looking. So I think that's it for this look. I'm just going to take a, like a tiny peek at my Tami Tanuka shades just because, like my pigments, just because it would be nice to just have a tiny bit of sparkle at least in the inner corner. So I'll just go ahead and finish my eye makeup and then I'll show you the close-up of my finished look.
So there you have the close-up and how I applied the different liners. I hope that it was somewhat helpful for you. I think that pastel liners are generally like water-soluble liners are super easy to use. I already have a few one, few ones from Glamvice, I think it's called, and those are great. And I don't know if this is just my conspiracy, but I think that all of these different liners, like they came out on the same time, and I just feel like it's the same factory that makes them all, but I have no idea if that's true. But like this one is from Glamvice, and that's one of their like neon, UV neon liners. And I just feel like they're so similar in the components and everything, if we can focus. So I just don't know if they're actually the same or not. I don't know. I just honestly wish that I had purchased my pastel liners as well from Glamvice, because I feel like they were some of the ones that were earliest out doing this and also Killer Queens just changed their pricing so many times and that just seemed a little bit shady to me. I don't really know why I feel like that is shady because I mean it's just about them not seeing the market and like how they can price their products before they actually put them out there because I bought mine for $30 but once they first released, they were $18 for the whole kit. And they say that they made the packaging bigger, but I don't really know if that's true. But this is just me speculating. But then again, changing the prices like three times, that's just like super weird to me. So I just wanted to like let you guys know, but if I were to purchase again, I probably would have purchased from Glamvice instead. Just That's just my thoughts on it and you should definitely just check out the different brands yourself before purchasing. I'm not at all trying to like be shady against Killer Queens as a brand because they just have a different marketing model than what I'm used to. They have like affiliate codes flying everywhere and I just get a little bit stressed out by watching their Instagram stories and I don't feel like that with Glamwise, but that's just my personal opinion and preference. So you are allowed to have a different one and you can of course share it with me down in the comment section if you want to but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and I guess that's actually just it for this video I'm just really happy to have some pastel liners now regardless which brand it's from I do hope that it was helpful for you to see how I applied it and just see the different shades swatched out on my arm right here so you can see them and yeah remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!